won't you leave it at the door? Hi guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. Welcome to my first tutorial video. I'm gonna be teaching you how I like to do my dog curls. Over the years, I got a lot of comments that are similar to this one, and it made me think to myself, I've never actually done a hair curling tutorial video. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna show you like three slash four different ways that you can curl the hair. Um, I have a personal favorite and I'll let you know when we get there, but yeah, so we got Sasha, the slumber party Sasha, and I'm actually a really big fan of her. I didn't think that I would like her as much as I do. Um, her face is a little plain Jane, but I do really like the like the clothes and everything, and the hair, and the, like, the little bear. My my niece took the, the, the rabbit from Having Sasha definitely makes me want to look into buying the other ones. I feel like I might like Jade the best. Yeah, but I love the hair on Sasha. I like the color of the blend with the dark brown and everything. I've never seen the original, so I can't, <laughs> I really can't compare her to her original form, but I really like the twists and her hair is really soft and silky. So I was stoked to see how <laughs> it would look after being curled and like straightened and everything. And uh, it's really nice. It's the premium nylon that they always use. I will say though, I'm not the biggest fan of nylon on Brad's dolls these days. I, again, I, it's just something about it. I feel like it takes away from what made Brad special, like what made them feel special physically. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, the Duran just in, implies a higher quality and it just feels better to me. Yes, go. The comb? Go. <laughs> what color? Red. The red one? Four. <laughs> so I'm going to be starting off by giving her a, a hair straightening session. Uh, it's, it's like a two birds and one stone type of situation. I wanted to see how she looked with straight hair. Plus, I had to, you know, get the kinks out and everything so that I could curl it properly and so that they could look really cute. But I also want to show you guys, like, you don't always have to wash the hair immediately out of the box. Like, she did have gel. However, it wasn't necessary. All I had to do was go through it with the, with the comb and the flat iron and it was good. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is, like, the root area was, like, really poofy and big. So if I, if I I did want to execute like a, a total silk press for her i'll definitely boil like the hair flatter to her head and that's a big reason why i'm not a biggest fan of the nylon hair because it's like really bulky on their heads whereas like saran or kanekalon back in the day it kind of it lies in a more elegant manner to me i like using the flea comb uh, i think that's what it is it's either a flea comb or a lice comb <laughs> i don't remember what i searched to find it but i like using it because i feel like it gets like you know those like smaller finer details and make sure that all of the hairs are being pressed uh against the flat iron here she is all finished up and she is a really pretty doll. I love her face and her lips and everything. And as you can see, she has some really pretty brown streaks. And again, here's my niece <laughs> with her uh, teddy bear or her little bunny rabbit thing. Yeah, she took it from her. This honestly wasn't the most satisfying slow-mo video because like, I don't know, the hair just looks cheap, doesn't it? Like, I don't know how to put my, I can't put my finger on it, but it just has a cheap look to it in my opinion but um yeah i have my styling bag everything that's featured in this video is going to be linked in the description and uh let me know if you need anything like specific or if you see anything in the background let me know and i'll supply that but yeah again i'm still watching dance moms i always like to set something up to watch and make sure that i'm like going to be preoccupied while i'm doing the hair because sometimes it can get really lengthy but yeah, I'm setting this tripod up so that I can have a, a stable base for her. Uh, I normally do this in my like lab, but I, I guess I wanted to be more demonstrative and professional in this video. But um, yeah, you can just like hold her in between your legs like I normally do, and that's actually a more comfortable position for me personally. So the first method is gonna be the curling iron method, and it's actually my least favorite one because 
Well, you'll see in a minute, but I definitely prefer the longevity and the rigidness of using the straws, as you'll see in a minute as well. You can start off by sectioning the hair. I like to use like the, the first row in the back because these rows are, are quite thick and abundant. <laughs> so this is a very small curling iron. And again, link is in the description, but it's the smallest one that I could find. Honestly, if I can get smaller, I would go for that as well. Because the curling iron in relation to the hair and the doll, is it's quite big. <laughs> it's quite a, a, a large size. So it's really just going to give you like those waves. And the hair can't really hold the curls. So you would need to like bobby pin each curl after you've uh, curled it. Which is not like a super intrusive process or anything but it's just it's a step more than what i like to do <laughs> you can see it's a very beautiful result though very shiny very bouncy but again i just prefer the straws so now we're on to both of the straw methods and what you're going to need are straws scissors a spray bottle and condition you can do this with straws of various sizes but i'm showing uh, i think these are smoothie straws in this video and just regular drinking straws so you'll see on the right it'll be the bigger curls and then on the left side of her head it'll be the smaller cute curls that are my favorite so as you can see I, I put entirely too much conditioner but you actually need probably like less than half of that like I just wanted to showcase that I'm actually putting conditioner in the hair um, but yeah you can see I'm using really small sections I think the smaller the better However, in the end, you're going to always separate the curls either way, so it almost doesn't matter. But the thing is, again, with this hair type, it's really thick. So you have to be a little careful about the way that you section it, because if it's a piece that's too thick, it might not curl all the way, number one. And number two, it might still be wet overnight. And also, if you put too much conditioner in it, it'll take longer to dry. So yeah, just be a little mindful of that. You can also oscillate the directions and go either left or right. It'll give you a, a variety of different curl patterns. And uh, I think it's smart to do that when you don't want everything to look too uniform. So that's why. <laughs> This is the final method, it's the pipe cleaner method and it's the one that I clearly need more practice with because the results didn't really look like anything that I've ever seen before. I guess the, the results are a little subjective but I personally didn't like them. And I, but I think I, the, I think I know what I did wrong though. I think I would twist the hair as I'm wrapping it rather than like start from the bottom working my way up to the top. I would start from the top and work my way down so yes uh but yeah it's, it's meant to be like 4c curls you know like the afro type textured hair i thought that was a cool thing that uh, i've seen on social media but unfortunately i didn't really execute it that well in this video now here's the second to best part of this process removing the straws it's super satisfying i love it i've always loved doing this i mean this is like <laughs> this is like what I was doing when I first started my channel and it's actually the same process the same products isn't that crazy some things just never change but um yeah it's really satisfying and I said it's my second favorite part because my favorite my actual favorite part of it is separating the curls as you'll see in a couple of minutes you can see the super defined curls before we separate them it's they just look so juicy and that's that's the beauty about this hair is that it curls excellently it's beautiful it's gorgeous and it's quite easy to work with the only thing is like over time the curls can drop but that's why i encourage conditioner you know not as much as i used in this video but definitely don't be afraid to use conditioner or hairspray or anything like that because you definitely want the curls to stay put i mean they look really nice and also a lot of us are like doll photographers and videographers and stuff so we have to get like you know we have to make sure the the curls remain the way that we envisioned them so yeah, as you're going to see on the right side are, are the looser, bigger straw curls. And then on the left side are the little smaller ones that look more appropriate for this doll size. So they're all really cute. Again, very juicy, very voluminous, very just in your face. And I love it. Super defined.
So as you can see, the curls are very defined. They're, they look really healthy and just like, I don't know, I love it. I miss doing the curls. I, I should have done it more. But as you can see, I didn't, I didn't do the pipe cleaner method properly. But I'm definitely going to come back and do a reiterated version of that tutorial because I could definitely do it better. Um, but yeah, right now it's giving almost like crimped hair. So, and that's not that's not what it's supposed to look like but yeah i know how to fix it that's what i'll do next time but yes that'll be it for this video i hope that this tutorial worked and again i like it for it to be a very simple process i don't like anything to be super extraordinary <laughs> so yeah feel free to leave tutorial recommendations for episode two i'd love to make another tutorial video going over like maybe a certain like hair skill or technique or whatever yeah just like let me know what you want to know um this was fun and i hope to do it again soon but that's that's gonna be it for now i love you guys and i will see you in the next video oh by the way guys i have something really exciting coming up for me it's really exciting and i think that you guys are gonna love it but that's all i'll say for now <laughs> i love you and i will see you next time Bye bye